since 1967, I've been president of Grange County Farm Bureau, and I can't hire somebody to take my place. <laughs> the longtime service and commitment from David Mitchell of Granger County has been a true value to Farm Bureau. His service actually began on the local board of directors in 1959 as a young farmer and homemaker member, and he was immediately elected as vice president. In 1981, he was elected to serve on the Tennessee Farmers Mutual Insurance Board of Directors, and then in 1984, was first elected to represent District 5 on the Farm Bureau Board of Directors, a position he's proudly served since. His guidance and wisdom for Farm Bureau has come directly from his dedication to his farm, where he and his wife Judy and their children have continued to work to have success and share their knowledge of our most important industry from innovations in tobacco, cattle and hogs, to more than 40 years with a dairy operation, and today continuing with the successful direct marketing of their beef, David Mitchell has continued to be a strong and diligent voice for Tennessee agriculture. Weather this spring has been very unusual. We had frost the 17th of May. Uh, we couldn't get tobacco set, planted early. Uh, then uh, we had it was too wet uh, for a long time and then turned off real dry. The spread between what the farmer's getting and what the consumer's having to pay is getting more and more. Uh, we're getting less and less but, uh, of the consumer dollar. We'll run this disc and uh, then we've got a, a different disc and then roll, uh, get ready to sow wheat. It is extremely important. I think more important than we've ever been in my uh, service with Farm Bureau. We have got more people, uh, environmental people and regulation people, uh, trying to tell us what to do. The voice of agriculture has never been stronger because of the efforts of Farm Bureau members like David Mitchell. His unprecedented service on the local and state board of directors has continued to affect positive change for Tennessee and American farmers. And while he returns back to the farm, his legacy of service to Farm Bureau will forever be remembered. I wouldn't take anything in the world for Mike Perry. It's just been really good and I've enjoyed it. Uh, just think about the uh, uh, what they have accomplished in uh, tax savings uh, and everything you think of, seed, feed, fertilizer, fuel, uh, green belt. We talk about uh, in, uh, the savings with uh, being a membership savings. It don't compare with what savings it is with uh, farming operations. I hope I was part of that, to get some of these things done that has been such a uh, blessing, if you want to call it a blessing for agriculture and rural Tennessee. Uh, that's what I, I was just part of the program, part of the team, I should say. <laughs>